hey y'all welcome back to our channel so today i've got something a little different for you um i've driven past this place me and cody several times and i've wanted to stop every time so we finally found a place where we could pull off the side of the road and um take a look so we are in jewett texas and this is considered the sculpture capital of texas so there's a lot of sculptures all over this town a lot of metal sculptures and we're in a park right now that has a lot of them here so we're going to walk around and take a look at them and i'm going to bring you guys with us um if you will please smash that like share this out you will hear traffic on the highway because we are right by the road here so hopefully it's not too bad and hopefully the wind's not too bad so all right let's get started so like i said we are in jewett texas sculpture capital of texas um this park was put here in 2013 maybe i don't know that might just be oh no that's when uh this town was considered the sculpture capital of texas may 25th 2013. so all right let's go start walking around and take a look every time we pass this place i'm like oh that looks so cool There's some guitars. Hopefully y'all can see the sun is really bright right now on this side. Very colorful. It's crazy how they do this out of metal. There are some very talented people. Oh, that's a, an accordion. <laughs> very cool. Did you imagine hearing metal being screeched and played? So we're just going to follow the trail and see where it takes us not sure what that's supposed to be but it looks cool very cool design can't see because of the truck <laughs> it's the same color as the truck there's a beautiful butterfly wing say hi cody cody say hi <laughs> They got little flower gardens out here and the flowers that they put in here are good for um, attracting butterflies. So when the monarch butterflies come through and everything else, uh, they have a place to come. Well, that's cool. It's like a wind chime, but made out of metal. This is something I could see my mom hanging outside of her door. Shout out to you, mom. This right here is what I really want to see, and I'm not sure if we can go off the hill here, but you know what? I'm going to because I want to see it up close. This is, looks like an angel. And look, even the hair is made out of metal. That is crazy. I love this, it's beautiful beautifully done okay let me get back on the trail so I don't get in trouble because I'm not sure if you're supposed to leave the trail or not it's a bunch of just geometric shapes leaning <laughs> but it still looks cool the angel and there's another one that caught my eye when we first come by here and i'll show you what that is here in a minute i'm sorry for the wind and the the truck noise let me see if i can zoom in a little bit on this one that angel one is absolutely one of my favorites but there's another one that's my favorite and there's also one down the road that's my favorite i'll try to get a picture of it um Look at the sunflowers. That's so cool. I'm probably going to say that's so cool or that's awesome or, you know, a hundred times. It's even got a little hummingbird up there. And butterflies on it. That's pretty neat. See, I changed it up there. And this aggravates me. There's so much trash laying all over this place. It's such a beautiful place and a beautiful park and then people come and trash it up so um not cool so i may just get a trash bag and pick all that up 
I've got extras in the truck. Looks like little trees and something. Not very good with art um, terminology and stuff, so. But that is beautiful. It's pretty cool. This one's a grasshopper. <laughs> I love that. Even the facial expression on it is so cool. Let's see if I can zoom in on its face. That's pretty cool. <laughs> See, stuff like this just amuses me. I think it's hilarious. Just the creativity these people have. I love stuff like this, and normally I don't have time to stop and do this kind of stuff, but luckily we're on a hold right now at our job um, while the well's down, so we were able to take this time to come and look around there's a huge ant bed there I don't want to step off in that okay that's pretty cool let me have to zoom this one in for you that looks like a, a Halloweeny type it's orange and black got a little bit of yellow in it almost has like a candy corn feel but it's definitely not a candy corn just a bunch of triangles and it makes such a pretty sculpture you wouldn't think some of this stuff I would have never thought um, to be made. See, I'm going to go ahead and go this way and we'll come back over to these over here. That way we can end up at the exit. It's a little... Oh, I still got it zoomed in, don't I? We got a little bridge here bridge walkway it feels like forever it feels like forever since I've done a video so kind of rusty y'all but I'm going to get back in it and I'm very excited about it because this is absolutely what I love doing so alright let's go see what this animal is pretty sure I know what it is <laughs> This is a good little walking trail too. I may um, have to have Cody stop here quite a bit just to let me walk because it gets, you get really stiff riding in the truck all the time. Okay, that's very cool. And I guess this is, it's got a fountain with it. See, the artist for this is Julio Sanchez Alba from El Paso, Texas. And I guess this is supposed to replicate mountains and then the stream and all that. But look at that. Such talented people. I can't say it enough. I, again, apologize for the vehicles going down the road. Jackrabbit. Jackrabbit. This trail is, I mean, they have a lot of trails here that you can go walking on, but this one I would actually feel safe on. Uh, it's right here by the road. It's open. People can see. Oh, that's cool. It makes me want to go spin it. I wonder if it moves. I don't think you're supposed to touch it. I'm gonna see if it moves. I'm worse than a kid. Oh, it does move. Well, isn't that just nifty as heck? I love that. Very cool. Okay, with this, these over here you have to go off the trail to go see because there's nothing 
And they got benches off the trail, so I guess it's okay for me to go off the trail. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Artist is Dallas Richardson. And it is for sale. It actually says for sale. Now that doesn't look like metal. That is just the glass and rock. But there's the info. Georgetown, Texas. If anybody wants to buy it. It looks like a donut with nerds on it. Or, I'm not gonna say what else it looks like. What's this? Oh, it's a fish. It's a fish. Is that bells? No? Oh, I guess that's for the eyes. Look like them little mini tambourine things. It's my favorite color though. Red. One of my favorite colors. Okay, let's go walk over here and see what this one is. It's probably not going to be a very long video. I just wanted to show this off because I think it's very neat. Um, when towns recognize their artists and the talents that are in their town. Oh, here comes a train. Of course. So, I will be... That is very cool. We are like literally the train track is right there. So I'm going to be back here in just a second. <laughs> okay, and this is the one I wanted that really caught my eye. And I thought was very cool. Let me get in front of it so you can see it better. Is that seriously another train coming? They have more trains here than anything. I just think that's so cool. Look how, look at the detail in this thing. Now there's another one down the road here that I, I don't think we can uh, pull off the road and get a picture of it, but it's a skeleton heavy metal uh, guy with the guitar, electric guitar. This one's for sale as well. If anybody's interested. The artist is Jimmy Osborne. I think that's another train. Or I'm hearing stuff. I might be hearing a ghost train. I don't know. I bet this park is really pretty. Um... Because you can see that they have like a lot of elephant ears and stuff popping up. So I bet all of this is full of greenery and everything else during the summertime. I bet it's beautiful. And it looks like they've got, um, they've got picnic, little picnic tables and they've got little grills. So I guess you can come out and cook out and stuff like that. That's good to know uh, when you're on the truck that we have a place we can park and there's grills here. So... We might be able to come and do a little cooking out before we leave this place. We're fixing to be on our way to Louisiana, so um, I wanted to get this done before we left. I still, I love that so much. It's so cool. But that definitely is what caught my eye. And then the angel, of course, um, caught my eye as well. Just the simple fact that there's a trail here. Um... And it's open and it's safe. I like that. Which I know Cody hasn't stopped watching to make sure I'm okay, but. Okay, I keep hearing the train whistle and stuff again. Maybe I'm hearing it from the one that passed. I don't know. Okay, that's very cool. Let me get around there closer. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I know it's random has nothing to do with paranormal um, but I think I'm gonna start doing more stuff like this on here little vloggy type things throughout our day and places that we stop and see because even some of the stores we stop at some of the truck stops that we stop at are amazing 
they're like these huge truck stops they have all kinds of stuff so if y'all are interested in seeing stuff like that too on this channel please comment below and let me know um because until i can get going good back with the paranormal i think we'll throw in some of this stuff here and there too so but yeah that's cool this is metal art and mosaic art those are beautiful colors i love the colors they picked for this my mom would love that and it's just a bunch of blocks stacked on top of each other but the it ends up being beautiful and then this one let me zoom it in this one's a big metal cylinder looking thing but it's got some of the flowers look, looks like daisies and butterflies cut out of it to where it gives it like a 3d effect so you can see it kind of sticking out there that's pretty awesome these people are so talented like i i wish more towns did this um i wish they didn't do all that i think i'm gonna when i get done here i'm gonna go get a trash bag and pick that stuff up because that's annoying you have a free park something really nice to look at and something to show off your town and you disrespect it like that so but yeah that's the park all right guys i hope y'all enjoyed this um not a long long video but like i said let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this stuff i enjoyed it i had fun and i needed to get out and walk around because it does get very claustrophobic in the truck so um, if you like this video, please smash that like, share it out, subscribe if you haven't, and turn on that bell so you know when we go live or post a new video. I hope you like this video. I enjoyed making it, and I hope to be able to do more stuff like this in the future. All right, guys. We love y'all. You mean the world to us. We hope you know that. See you next time. This place is pretty cool. Another train. Really? You know what? There's more train tracks here. <laughs> I keep thinking I hear a ghost train, but there's another set of tracks here I remember and they're on the other side. So there's one here, one on the other side, so that's the one I'm hearing. Because I kept hearing trains coming through and nothing come through. Okay, it's not a ghost train, y'all. So this video actually has nothing to do with paranormal. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so crazy.